In this episode, I will talk to you about why training your virtual assistant is so important. Hi, my name is Ronnie Calmera and I help trainers, coaches, and digital entrepreneurs and course creators create their dream business and create freedom in their business. I want to talk to you about training because a lot of times people ask me, you get a virtual assistant, just put her to work directly and uh, I have a lot of uh, work already to do. But I always say to invest in training of the virtual assistant. That is a great recommendation because there are a couple of reasons why you want training. First, if you train people, then they will stay longer with you because they will get used to your business. They will get used to your business processes. And uh, if you provide them with training, then they will love your business. If you don't give anything uh, on training, then people will will start looking for other jobs, etc. The other thing is when you train the virtual assistants, less mistakes will be made. If you're seeing that there are a lot of mistakes in your business, don't blame the virtual assistant, but start thinking about training. Have you trained the virtual assistant exactly in the step-by-step processes in your, in your business? Have you trained her to use the systems like you you want her to use the, the systems? She already knows the basic of a MailChimp, but have you trained her exactly how to use MailChimp? Have you trained her exactly how you want your landing pages to be created, your images to be created? So when you train your virtual assistants, then they will do exactly what you expect them to do. Another thing is when you train your virtual assistant, you don't have to interfere with their work all the time because you can say, watch, that video another time, watch that process, look at the process that we created, look at the step-by-step process that we created, and then they will do it. If you don't train your virtual assistant, then for everything, they will ask your comment, you have to interfere with their tasks, etc., and you cannot go out of your business or do other tasks in your business. When you train your virtual assistant, they can train others. So when you have another virtual assistant coming in your business, then one of the things is the trained virtual assistant will train the other ones. You don't have to train uh, every new virtual assistant that comes into your business. You can just tell them, train that virtual assistant, the new one, to how to upload a video on uh, WordPress, how to publish a video on Facebook, how to post something on YouTube. So the training is once you train a virtual assistant, you can let her do the training to other ones. Now there is a saying that says by training something, when you are training something, you become a master uh, in that thing you're training about. So a lot of times you don't want to train anybody. You don't want to train the virtual assistant, but by training the virtual assistant, you discover the step-by-step uh, things that you that needs to be done and you also discover the mistakes that are made and then you can get those mistakes out now how does the training work the training often works with video one of the great ways to train a virtual assistant is with video you have a video capture software like Camtasia or for Mac, it is ScreenFlow. Those are expens- not expensive uh, programs and you can capture your screen. That means that you take one hour or maybe 30 minutes or 15 minutes of your time, you do the task and you capture that in the video and then you send that video, you upload that video and send that video to the virtual assistant. Now, that's how you train it. Another way to train your virtual assistant is by giving her access to training sites. Maybe you have a course about Facebook marketing, maybe you have a course about um, other things in your business. I recommend you to give your virtual assistant um, access to that course so that she can do a training. Now, if uh, you don't have a lot of tasks to do, then as a regular strategy in your business, you can let your virtual assistant 
do some hours on training. So if there are you don't have enough uh, tasks during uh, two hour, two two days or three days, then you say say to your virtual assistant, do some training on YouTube. Go do some training, and you have to pay them to do that training. So they will love uh, the fact that you are paying them while they are training. So if you have any questions regarding. Um, virtual assistant staff and creating freedom in your in your business let me know below and please like this page and then share this video also to others and if you are on my WordPress site please sign up for more of this episode by joining my list of episodes thank you